Epcaritumab is another CD3, CD20 bispecific antibody designed for use in, in B-cell non-Hodgkin lymphoma. This antibody was from the beginning designed for subcutaneous use. And uh, at the ICML meeting, I present updated uh, safety and efficacy data from the dose escalation part of the phase one, two first in human study of Epcaritumab in BNHL. We update uh, safety and efficacy data which have previously been presented now at a median follow-up of 14 months. The deep and durable responses are still uh, 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 quite impressive and many of them maintained. So, uh, and also the safety data still uh, demonstrates uh, manageable uh, toxicity profile. To put it short, no treatment-related deaths or uh, treatment-related discontinuations. Still no cases of uh, cytokine release syndrome uh, worse than grade two. So approximately two thirds of the patients had a cytokine release syndrome, but exclusively grades one and two, which is manageable. No patients have had need for intensive care, for example, because of uh, cytokine release syndrome. So looking at uh, the efficacy, uh, looking at patients with a relapsed refractory uh, DLBCL, which is the vast majority of patients included into this dose escalation study, at doses of 12 milligrams and above at a median follow-up of 9.3 months, the median duration of response has not been reached and median progression-free survival for these patients 9.1 months. And at the recommended phase two dose, which is 48 milligrams or above, patients uh, were followed for a median of 8.8 .8 months and both the median duration of response and also the median progression-free survival have not been reached. Looking at the smaller subgroup of patients tre uh, treated for follicular lymphoma, uh, for efficacy, they had a median follow of 8.8 .8 months. And for those patients, just like uh, in DLBCL, the median duration of response and median progression-free survival has not been reached. We showed data on progression-free survival in this presentation, including Kaplan-Meier curves, where the uh, durability of the responses uh, for the first time are really being displayed in this way. So that was the update uh, about epcaritumab uh, in the cell non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Updated data on safety and efficacy uh, showing uh, still the very favorable safety profile and, uh, and um, encouraging uh, clinical activity, including novel PFS data.